Hello everybody, welcome to the Group D replay cast of the second round match between Gabias and his lizard men versus Slade Black Mage and his humans. Gabias won the kickoff, chose to kick. I can't show you the tables because I didn't take a screenshot of them before the match, unfortunately. Um, what I can tell you is that Gabias is Spanish and qualified via the NBB on the PC and Slade Black Mage also qualified on PC. He's American and qualified through TRBBL um, season two. And he's got a very sensible five guard, a block catcher, a leader thrower. Quite like the build, honestly, 13 players. Five re-rolls, okay, maybe not a leader. Maybe just go four re-rolls. Maybe the, maybe the leader is a bit too far, but apart from that, yeah, completely reasonable. And, uh, oh, Gavias has taken a guard Crocs and two defenseless Saurus and a sneaky git skink, which isn't what I'd do, but never mind. It's not terrible or anything, is it? He's got two rerolls and an apple, and he's got the chameleon skink, which is a pretty normal build, isn't it? I've got a brilliant coat. No way! Oh wow, we've got a brilliant coaching. Okay, the plus one <laughs> from Gavias' assistant coach that he got did not make a difference. So that's okay. That is okay. Phew. Um, right. Yeah, big, big, not a fan of this build. Uh, block, all block is uh, better. Oh, bonehead goes. Doesn't try to re-roll, doesn't try to re-roll the body. He's got, you got six re-rolls, mate. <laughs> You're not gonna re-roll that. I would have fully loaned a reroll that, like. Holy moly. Oh. Double one's the pickup. He ha he's got four rerolls. He's got leader, and then just won the uh, brilliant coaching result. Despite the fact that Gabby has spent his inducement money <laughs> on an assistant coach. Which is, uh, you know. Not uh, not good. Whoa, makes the dodge. Would have definitely rather just made one block with the crocs. I guess if if it's a no, if it's a pal, then you don't need a dodge. It's definitely better because it's not making the dodge any harder. It's a million percent better to block with the crocs. Okay, go stupid. <laughs> First action ogre, let's go! Oh, it wasn't! He just recovered! No! What are you doing? Roll some dice, you've got six re-rolls! No, of course he isn't! Of course he isn't allowed to spend his inducement money! <laughs> the whole, it's the whole point of tears! I don't know if he's done it in any of the other games, or if he just doesn't know the rules, or... I don't know how he doesn't know the rules, if he just did it by accident, right, and like, he knew the rules and he just just did it automatically and was like, oops. But no, I mean, you're absolutely not allowed to spend your inducement money. <laughs> absolutely not allowed to spend, like, that's the whole point, right, of the tiers and stuff, to make, to make the game fair, essentially fair, by giving, like, all World Alliance more stuff than, um other teams get, or in this case, humans, an extra skill compared to lizards. <laughs> this dude might be a little bit in the open, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just a tiny bit in the open, yeah. Just a tad. Yeah. I mean, there is inducement money. There is inducement money. And it should have been unspent. Yeah. 
I completely zoned out what was happening there, but apparently the ball got knocked over, but not now. Yeah, I mean, he's really got five, right? The, the sixth was uh, from the kickoff. But yeah, five, I think, is excessive. He's going to do a pass. Three plus. Easy. Makes the catch. Potato. What could go wrong? I mean, I don't know, a Saurus? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> a Saurus three dicing you to death is, is, I guess, one way it could go wrong. <laughs> What's he going to do? Blitz me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what he's going to do, funnily enough. And maybe knock the ball in the crowd. No. Oh. Obviously has to re-roll this. Gets the full pow. Nope. Now this now the skinks have got to make the long run back. Gets him. No, you can't spend inducement money, Santa. You can't. You're not allowed to. <laughs> the game doesn't stop you getting an inducement money. The rules of the tournament are you're not allowed to spend it. But Gabby has spent it because, I guess, he uh, he just forgot and just automatically spent it. He's breaking the law. Breaking the law. What a banger that is, by the way. But I mean, he did. What I'm saying is, like, the game allows you to, and he did spend it. He just isn't, wasn't allowed, right? He wasn't supposed to. I mean, he can do it. What I mean is, like, there's not a thing that stops you getting it, right? Like, there's a thing that stops you getting pressed and nuffle. There is a setting that stops you getting pressed and nuffle. There's not a setting that stops you getting the inducement money. So you do have to not spend it. Um, but he just spent it. So it's not cheating. I'm sure Apple stabs us that it wasn't cheating. It was just that he uh, he just wasn't thinking and automatically uh, did it. No, you can't stop it. You can't stop getting the inducement money. No, that, that, that was my point, yeah. That was my point. So you could, I mean, you could, because he has. You're just not, you're not allowed to by the rules of the tournament. Now, thus far, it hasn't affected anything. Um, I don't know if uh, Slay Black Mage will, you know, want to get a replay or whatever out of this or something, but it really, it hasn't had an effect, I, and you know, you would obviously assume it was an honest mistake. Seeing as people can just see you doing it, <laughs> it would be a really <laughs> stupid thing to try to cheat on, wouldn't it? Even if, you know, you thought somebody was a cheat. First things first, skink straight up. Gets the knockdown. Six saurus, six block saurus, pretty good, just quietly. Oops, dub skulls. Maybe should have moved that skin crime. Maybe should have used this move the sneaky git before he uh, made that block. Now he's moved it afterwards. <laughs> but probably should have moved them those for well not one of them first. Lovely removal. Pushes. Luckily, doesn't one in nine with his uh, rubbish saurus. Two rubbish saurus he's got. Oh 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, it is technically tournament rule break, but rule breaking, yeah. But I mean, it's one that he was never going to get away with, and one that you can easily do, so by accident. So I really, 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 really don't think it's intentional. I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, appeal to the admins to ban him or anything. I just think I just did it without thinking. Turn six. I'd have liked to have got the skin further forward, honestly, but it's not terrible. I feel like he should have got him further forward. But maybe he couldn't. Cheeky removal. Freeze the skink, so that's good having extra skink downfield. So you can maybe hand it off to him. <laughs> yes, I would have done as well, Santa from Exeter, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's your fault, isn't it? If you, if, you, if you set up 12, it's your mistake. Simple as. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it was a careless error, but yeah, if if he, like, luckily, Slay Black Mage got the, uh, like, the, uh, the chance of there being an assistant coaching event is low, and there was, and then Slay Black Mage won it anyway, so. I'm sure it was a careless error. Um, George Michael wrote a song about it, didn't he, in fact? No, oh, that's outrageous, Santa. That is outrageous, man. That is one of the things that I don't like about, you know, when I say tabletop. By the way, look how bad this was by Gabias, right? You've got no rerolls. You blitz this guy. Look where this guy can go. One, two, three. Well, in fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it does, it does save you. One, two, three. Yeah, it does save you the rush. So it's either a 1 in 36 from the Blitz, or you can 3 dice him, right? So I would probably 3 dice, maybe not. No, it's tough. No, because you can block this one. Yeah, okay. I say 3 dice him. I say 3 dice this guy. But it wasn't as bad as I first thought. I thought he could just get in anyway, but he, he couldn't. Five plus one. Blick six Boxaurus, yep, hundred percent. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the rules are, you choose. That's that's absolutely ridiculous. What an absolute dirtbag. The TO. Uh, I mean. Right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to go on for a complete tangent from this match. But if a TO is going to rule that my opponent. I don't get to remove my opponent's star player, then he's the one. Like. He is the one that might as well concede and go home because that would be my reaction if they're not going to play by the rules of the tournament. That's outrageous, isn't it? That's the most outrageous thing I've ever heard in a in a Blood Bowl or Warhammer tournament in my life. That is outrageous. Outrageous. Anyway. He just fell over. Um, he could actually get the 
push here, right? Could he? He could have, I think, right? You block there, and then you run around and blitz there. And then you could dodge here. And then you could block him forward. And then that's a 1 in 9. That's a 1 in 36. Oh, no, because he hasn't got block. Oh, no, okay. Just, just rushing was probably best then. Yeah, Christopher B, that's disgusting. That is that is absolutely disgusting. That is a disgrace. An absolute disgrace. I'm sorry. Sorry to any TOs who think you shouldn't play by the rules, but you should. And that's a disgrace. Especially with a guy whining about it. That that obviously makes it worse, right? Like if they've said before the tournament starts, this is our rules, the TO decides, that's fair enough. But it's wrong, but it's fair enough. But that specific example is outrageous. Outrageous. Yeah, if it's in tournament rule packs, fair enough, yeah. If it's in tournament rule pack, then that's obviously fine. That's what you sign up for, right? Like rebel four minute turns. If it's if it's in if it's in the if it's in the rules pack, then that is what it is, right? Yeah, if it's pre-tournament, fair enough. If it's not in your rules pack, it ain't it ain't bloody happening. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, World Sitar. Anyway, so Half ends one nil for Gabias. I didn't see what the what the kickoff event was. Talking about that other thing. Quick snap. Okay. So the uh, assistant coach has not had an effect on the game. It's okay. So three dice with mighty blow. Yeah. Never lucky. Things can happen here, right, as the humans, but it just takes so much luck. But you've got loads of rerolls, so you can try things, try to get lucky. It's so hard though, the skinks are so fast and the Soros are so strong and like, what do you even do here? Also, Gabias can just score and go 2-0 up and win, right? Is the other thing. A stupid ogre can make for a gaping hole. I think just going straight through here is probably best. Oh, he pushed him there. Kaz, lovely. I mean, what do you expect? He just brings people up. Like it's, it's harsh, but it's like, it's not, it's maybe not even wrong, right? Just to base up like that. Like it's, <laughs> it's almost certainly going to end badly for you, but what else are you going to do? Just play sensibly and lose later, right? Base up and hope that he more in nines and has to use re-rolls and... I don't know. I mean, I, that's why I wouldn't take humans to an event, right? I wouldn't have picked humans because you just lose to Lizardman. And yeah. I don't agree with the base and prey strat, but... However you beat lizard men, praying is going to be a big percentage of it. <laughs> With this team. With this team, praying is going to be probably 90% of the win. 5 plus dodge. Bought down, let's go. Didn't get a Kaz, diced. No, well, 
that's all killing something. Not that bad. plus to 2D the ball. <laughs> Why not? This time with block. I mean, you could just blitz another skink, right? Try and split skinks. I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't got ideas. I haven't really got ideas. There's no real answer to this, is there? There really isn't an answer how to beat lizard men as uh, humans. Every uh, make seven cards right. That worked for the uh, the Skaven versus lizard men. It would work for humans as well. Just make seven cards. Makes the five plus dodge. Oh no! Shadowing. Okay, shadowing didn't get him. Rolls the full pow. Incredible. Unfortunately, he'd already moved the uh, catcher, so he couldn't pick it up. But makes the dodges and pick up. Okay, okay. He's got half a chance. What a play. What a play from Slay Black Mage. He's still only on four rerolls. Like he's, still having fun. he's still fine on rerolls. <laughs> Doing absolutely fine on rerolls. You have to like dodge the sneak you get right and then 2D with the other one. That's the pound. Stunty dodges. Disgust for us. I mean, he's innocently. <laughs> Instantly hittable. Oh no, he's not because he's got to got to go there to stop the uh, assists and the one D there fails. Honestly, he could have done could have done the one D here, right, with block versus blockless, and that would have freed him up to do the two D. Then he could have come in, and he could have got the two D there, or he could just blitz round with him or whatever. So, uh, yeah, could could have relied on this block versus blockless. Again, show, could have showed the weakness of not taking six block. I guess now you just bang it in, right? Because he's got four rerolls, three rerolls left. He's going to keep trying things, so just... Uh, Stop that. Cars. Can three dice with a skink, right? The skink on the catcher there can be a 3D. Doesn't do it though. Just scores. And 2 0 up. It's almost certainly a victory. down to one. <laughs> Somehow down to one. Is it on the catcher? Oh dear. The sound effects are funny, aren't they? You can try to throw him next turn, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can hand off next turn and try to throw him. from sculling out and 
feeling bad. Blockless block. I would have done the crocs hit first, I think, just because the crocs are more important. Oh, he's not even doing it. Oh man. Instant handoff. Oh, he throws with a minus one. <laughs> that was really quick. <laughs> when he rolled a one. <laughs> He failed to land. Died. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the ball came out there. First action. Bosh. Well, it's a real danger that the humans lose every game in the tournament here. Um, Cold Troop, season two finals, third place, has lost both of his first game. Slayer Black Mage has lost his both of his first games. So. Um, they are 0 and 4 right now. There is a chance that the humans lose every single game. Poor human teams. It's funny how people do things like this, isn't it? Like, it's turn 16, it's just for their own entertainment. <laughs> Absolutely nothing the humans could do, and he ends the turn. There you go. So, um, congratulations, Gabias. Commiserations, Slade Black Mage. And the table, after it's finished, I can show you, looks like that. Um, so, yeah, that's Slade Black Mage at the bottom there with two losses out of two. Gabias lost the first one. And has won the second. So we've got Zerpils, Rats versus Ceremals Undead. Both on the win each. So very exciting match that will be later. Um, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.